In the United States, tensions over abortion are high after the leak of a draft Supreme Court judgment that, if confirmed, would overturn Roe v. Wade. Thousands of miles away, African abortion rights advocates are nervously watching. If the decision which legalized abortion in the US is reversed, they fear it could have major ramifications. Traditional and cultural values across the continent often clash with the reality of widespread underage and unwanted pregnancies, sometimes by rape or incest. That divide was highlighted by the case of clinician Ismail Mohamed Salim. When a desperate and bleeding 17-year-old girl came to his rural health centre in Kenya, he thought he was doing the right thing by helping her end an unwanted and dangerous pregnancy. Days later, both were in jail. In March, following a week in custody and a two-year legal process, both were vindicated by the High Court. But experts say if Roe v. Wade is overturned, it will have an inevitable knock-on effect in Africa, emboldening anti-abortionists and boosting their funding, much of which comes from American pockets. It is a major threat to abortion rights globally, says Evelina Pondo, Senior Regional Director for Africa at the Centre for Reproductive Rights. She says perhaps abortion rights activists have believed too much in the US system. But others are praying for Roe versus Wade to be overturned. A strong anti-abortion lobby across the continent says it's a practice imposed by Westerners that is akin to murder. Kathy Kagania Ganga, a pastor at Kenya's Sozo Church of God, says it would be a miracle if the decision is rescinded. Nobody has the right to decide who lives and dies, she says. Only God. <laughs> US President Joe Biden has promised countermeasures if the Supreme Court confirms its draft ruling. He also eliminated his predecessor Donald Trump's so-called global gag rule, banning funds for aid groups that discuss abortion. The World Health Organization says 45% of around 73 million abortions taking place globally each year are unsafe, with poorer nations bearing the brunt. In Africa, the WHO says 75% of terminations are unsafe. They sometimes involve inserting knitting needles or bicycle spokes, or drinking bleach. African abortion rights campaigners fear that situation will only get worse if Roe versus Wade is struck down.